My name is Abraham. I'm with Browning Farms, and I am going to show you how to set up WorldShip for your company. And I noticed that this was now there, and I was going to go through 2014 as the version that I'm on. First thing that you need to do is set up a profile. And to do that, go to the Tools button, and then go over to Create Profile. So I'm going to set this one up for Brownie Farms. After I show you how to set up a profile and go through this, I'll go through color and custom labeling as well. So just stick with me on this, or you can skip halfway through the video until you start seeing labels pop up on the screen. So I'm going to go into Brownie Farms. And first thing I need to do, set up my required fields. Uh, if you notice everything in blue required, I need more than that. So I'm going to name mine Brown Farms, and then I'm add or shift to I need this. and then I need the email. Both of those for me are required. Shift to where is save. So the other thing I like setting up is my tab order. What tab orders when you're on the screen and you hit the tab button, where does it go next? Right? So I want to set this up first uh, uh, residence to be first. So you go to, um, to set up tab order, you go to tab order, sorry, dot, dot, dot. You can know, always do, also do this up here in this section, uh, create tab order or you can require fields, you can add those under the tools. So first thing I do is select the quick ship with options so that pops up and then I'm going to type in round arms and then I'm going to edit this guy. So I don't use customer ID, so I'm going to remove that. I do attention before company name, so I'm going to move that up. I don't do an address line for that one. And then I'm going to scroll to residential and put that at the very top. Save it and close it. And if you notice, as you do it, it updates this. Brownie Farms, Brownie Farms, Brownie Farms. Okay, so I've got my field set, my tab order all set up. Other thing I want to do is in reference, because this shipper number is used for other things, I want to put in brown knee farms in a reference field. And the reason I'm going to do that is so when I'm on the post side of billing activities and I want to grab everything that was shipped on behalf of Brownie Farms out of this location, I can do that, right? And I can do it by grabbing reference number five or reference or two or one or whichever reference field you can get access to, right? So now I am going to save the profile. And now that I've got it saved, next thing I'm going to do is, go, oh, you know what I forgot in the profile? Let's go back into that one, Brownie Farms. I always like to do the email. Once it opens up, there it is. Go to Options and Quantum View Notify. And that's all you had to do. Subject line, I'm going to pop in tracking number. In the memo, I always wanted to say, hey, uh, yummy syrup is on its way. Right? Failed email address is going to be info at browningforms.com. Okay, so that's all set up. There we go. Now save the profile and get out of here. Woo, I just cut my customer service calls in half. Well, that is if I had customers cut in half. I'm so fantastic using UPS, nobody ever calls me. <clears throat> Exit profile editor. Okay, so we're now set up. We've got uh, everything defaulted, and the reason that's really important is less keystrokes means I get to go do other things which are important to me. And as I'm a you know two-man shop here, I it, it's really important for me to be efficient in everything I do. So taking the 10 minutes to set this up is worthwhile in the long run. You know, tweaking it every now and again is, is good too. So the next thing I want to do is set up custom labels. But before that, I actually got to get into my system preferences and set up my printers, right? So we're going to go into System Preferences, into the Printing Setup. And this is where all your printers are set up for your system, right? So I'm going to this guy right here. 
I want to set up a printer just for I want to set up a printer for Brownie Farms because that printer is going to print a custom label for Brownie Farms only, right? So the idea is going to be Brownie Farms. And you don't have to do it this way. I just like this the way I like setting it. And that I named the printer ID Brownie Farms, so I, I'm sure I'm setting it up. And then when I add, you can actually select the same printer that you have for all the other ones and just have a different configuration for that printer. So in this one, if you're setting up the Epson 3400, um, it's considered a generic thermal printer. Just trust me, it works. I'm going to do a custom, um, not a company logo. I'm doing a label header. The difference between a company logo and a label header is the company logo's logo is static on every single one. I like it better. It looks better, but it's static. I want something that changes every time, so I'm going to use the shipment label header and hit apply. And that would be one of the reasons why you'd want multiple printers set up in this on the same printer. Let's say that you had another company. Um, let's go ahead and default to. Let's say you had another company uh, that was called Color Label Company, whatever it is. And that one, you didn't want to use the shipment label header, but you wanted to use a graphical image. And oh, by the way, that graphical image is this. And it's always on the top, and it always works that way. You set it up that way, OK? The other thing I wanted to do real quick for Brownie Farms is I need to set up a black and white one, right? So you clear all the information, type in Brownie Black. Ooh, that sounds like the, uh, the new dark, 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 dark maple syrup. <laughs> brownie black. It's a label printer, and now I'm going to add it in. Pops up, change label printer, and this is actually going to go over to a zebra printer, right? We'll just call it this one. Send it over to you. And then there you go. And then I'm going to do ship label header. Okay, cool beans. So we got a brownie black and a brownie farms printer set up. And everybody is happy. So we will go ahead and close out of this. Now, I've set up the printers. Let's go set up the custom labels. So under your tools, you've got custom labels. Now, this is a new feature, new template. See, I remember last, last version, select one in the template, hit copy, type it in. It was a little, little uh, you know, they saved this. Thank you, World Chef. So here, to create a new template, you can go down, and I'm going to do a shipment label header, and then you can type in the name, unless you've already got it made. If you already have it made, select it from here and click Edit. But after you hit Create, or after you hit Edit, whichever one you select, it brings you to this screen. Let me remove everything. Go away. So I'm now in this screen, and I need to generate what I want at the top of here. So I first have to add an image to the library. So add an image. Browse for your image, and I'm going to hide that, and go into, oh, I know the, I know the anticipation is just so great right now. After you find your image and you select open, add image to library, OK. It puts the image in the library. Hooray! So we've got the image, and then you can drag the brown up to your label. And there you go. Got my little background farm picture, and it says Brownie Farms, know where it came from. Excellent. Now I can associate that to the Brownie Farms profile and hit save and close. So now when I generate a label, let's send let's uh let's send something. So I hit tab, it should go to attention, Bob company, hit tab, address line one, one oh one main, sweet two oh one, then uh 
That's not blue. Why is it not blue? I told it to be blue. But you're not blue. Huh. That's weird. Well, let's try to ship. Oh, you remember under options, we added that to quantum view? Oh, shut the front door. You see what I did? I wasn't in the right profile. Cancel this shipment. This is going to screw everything up. You know what you can do if you go to profile editor? and you forget to do that, and you're always going to be stuck or using the Brownie Farms profile, if you go to Profile Editor, you can do this in Shipper Editor, too. You know what? I should save the click and done in the Shipper Editor. Come on, World Ship. If you go to Shippers right here, bam, you can actually, hey, I want to always be in Brownie Farms and exit profile. And that makes that, that makes Default profile. Oh, what a rookie mistake. I think this is my first time in World Ship or something. All right, all right, all right. Come on, World Ship. There you go. See, if I had clicked that button, it should have pulled this, and then you can modify. What I like about this is it shows you everything on that shipper, but that's for another episode. Here we go. All right. So I've created this shipment. I'm going to Bob, and we'll just use one of the pre-filled ones in and at brownfarms.com. Okay. So package, and then hold on, stop, stop, stop. Printing activities. Use custom label. Now remember, it's already defaulted to use the Brownie Farm shipment label header. But what's not defaulted is the right printer. See, I set it up to do the color printer, which, you know what? I don't want to print it on a color printer. I want to go to the brownie black on this one. Why? Because the brownie black's actually piped over to a uh, PDF printer. Okay. So I'm going to hit process shipment. Bada bing, bada boom. Bad boy next day air. Because that's my default service. That's the way I go. Here we go. So I'm going to drop the label. Where I can find it quickly. There you go. All right, now let's pull it up. I'm just going to drag this over so y'all can see it. There you go. So this, the settings within the uh, PDF writer is an 8 by 10 piece of paper. But uh, you can just see there's the logo. It's been dropped on the top. Here's the default label. And that's, that's it. There's real no magic there, just in color. Now, if you don't have a color printer, you need to set up your images in black and white because they don't look right. World chip or printers don't do a good job translating, right? WorldShip's going to push the color image out, but it's just not going to look right coming out of there. If you're using a color printer, but you also want the convenience or the speed of the black and white uh, label printer, right? It's real easy to change printers. When you generate a shipment, you can just come up right here and hit change printers, and... There you are. You, you, you know, like I showed you, you're off and running. You're changing the printer between whichever printer you want to print on, right, in whatever format you want to print on. So it's, it's fast to run that way, um, to, to swap between the two printing, right? Now, um, what else did I want to show you? I think that was it. Well, that was anticlimactic, wasn't it? I mean, we just get to the end, and I'm out of stuff to talk about. Well, thanks for watching. I really hope you were not born out of your skulls. You learned something out of this. We covered the profile editor, the tab order set. We also covered the, the fixed order or the, uh, the required field set. And then we dived a little bit into the custom label. You know what I think I'm going to do? I'll do another one of these broadcasts later down the road. And I'll really dig into that custom label and uh, show you some of the uh, features in that. And then if you watch this video, you like it, do me a favor and put a comment in the comment section and say, hey, I want to see this, or 
how do you do this? And I'll uh, I'll throw another one up. Watch it.